What's up everyone, Sean here, and today on the Hawk Talks, I am once again talking about MKX, and uh, before I go into it, I just want to clarify that this is going to be similar to the video with the April Fool's video I made with uh, Mortal Kombat, um, how I'm talking about my personal history with it, and uh, Mortal Kombat X, what I thought of it, you know, as, um, and there was an April Fool's joke thrown in there, and that video wasn't exactly how I wanted to turn out. Uh, my mind was really unclear, it was foggy, it was like 2 in the morning when I made it. So um, I failed to point out things that I wanted to point out um, and I realized after watching it, I was like, oh, oh gosh. So um, I, I, just, I got quite a bit of comments, um, few, few are good, but uh, there were some prominent bad comments that I received. They were mostly just uh, fanboy comments, but um, I did fail to point out things that I should have pointed out for more combat and you know my personal history on it. Um, so I'm gonna go right into it and I'll try to be clear as possible so um, this is just a personal opinion and mind you that this is myself when I was younger so things change uh, with time so um, I wanted to throw it out there. But anyways uh, before I go into MKX so for those who watched the April Fool's video on, on uh, Mortal Kombat, this video will be similar to that. Before I go into MKX, I wanted to talk about my personal history with Mortal Kombat. Uh, overall, um, you know, straight to the point, I really didn't pay much, uh, pay much attention to it because of how it looked to me. You know, when I was young, um, you know, I played it at my friend's house, and um, at the time, I, you know, I. I really didn't like it comparing to uh, Japanese fighters and for those who don't know already from watching that uh, April Fool's video I was biased towards um, Mortal Kombat and I was all about Street Fighter, Tekken and all the other Japanese fighters that came out during the time when I was young and all that stuff and so really didn't pay much attention, attention to Mortal Kombat and you know just couldn't get into it again because of the design, the look and the overall aesthetic of it. And yes, I did play the old Mortal Kombat stuff, uh, including the ones on N64. And again, this was all at my friend's house, so I never actually owned a copy myself, and that's my experience I got from Mortal Kombat. At one point when there was a blockbuster back in the day, I rented Deadly Alliance. I really wanted to try it. It was, you know, it was a 3D Mortal Kombat, thought it was gonna be different, but this one still had that same Mortal Kombat feel to it, if you know what I mean. And this one was a little more jank, and with the the voices and the hoo ha hoos and, and I don't know, it just looked even goofier than the older Mortal Kombat games. And plus, you had some weird designs from several characters, such as Jax and Sonya. So after that, I skipped several other Mortal Kombat's, and I've just seen videos on YouTube to you know see the uh, fatalities. And even Mortal Kombat 9 came along. Um, I was too much into you know Super Smash Brothers, Street Fighter, all the other Japanese stuff, you know, because um, I was still biased for those Japanese fighters. And uh, all I did was um, watch the fatalities. And with the PS3, Xbox 360 graphics, you know, I I, I give it credit for giving a lot of detail to the the gore and violence that Mortal Kombat 9 had to offer. So you know, respect to that, geez, Louise, you know. Mortal Kombat 9 had a really well done story mode comparing to other fighters, even with the, the Japanese fighters, as I mentioned before, especially with Street Fighter. They didn't always have a story mode per se, it was just arcade mode with uh, each character having an end ending movie or opening movie and whatever. But Mortal Kombat 9 definitely had a well presented sto story and narrative and, you know, it was uh, it was fun to watch and, you know, um, I actually had fun watching it from uh, Maximilian's playthrough and but once again because of the aesthetic and designs on um, some characters and the art that um, MK9 uh, showed I really couldn't get, in, get into it you know and especially with some of the female characters uh, didn't exactly look appealing to me so that's why again I uh, kind of stayed away from it and stuck with my my Japanese fighters but now with everything said I do have a place of respect for uh, Mortal Kombat as a fighting game. I mean, first off, it was the first fighting game to receive the uh, ESRB rating for its violence. And especially during the time of the first Mortal Kombat game, it was different. It was very expressive on its gore and violence, and uh, it became iconic with its fat fatalities 
and the voice and and several other things and it definitely has its place as a fighting game that's something i failed to point out in the previous video of mortal kombat and i also wanted to say that i'm not trying to bag on anyone or make fun of anyone who likes certain games such as mortal kombat i mean not everyone likes japanese fighters and they you know they prefer fighters like killer instinct or or mortal kombat you know and i i respect that i understand that and uh, it's okay to like those fighters it's just a personal thing for me. Mortal Kombat and myself just didn't go together, uh, especially when I was younger. But now with Mortal Kombat X, this looks pretty damn cool, I think. And definitely it's an improvement from Mortal Kombat 9. And it's such an improvement, especially with the character design, the movement, and uh, the exciting story mode is going to add to this. And of course, the PS4 has a small library of games. I actually want to pick this one up and uh, really want to try out this um, as my first Mortal Kombat game I've ever owned. So I'm really excited and especially with the characters that are coming to uh, Mortal Kombat X such as Jason Voorhees and the Predator. Um, really, really am glad that Predator made it in there. I really love the Predator movies and um, especially with the first one. That one really stuck with me um, as a kid and you know with Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, all the other um, the casts and stars and um, Carl Weathers and, and Jesse Ventura and Predator of course as a character. One character I wanted to point out is Tremor. He looks really interesting and you know he has this he has the earth powers and I've always been interested with characters that manipulate the earth and and I think Tremor's design is interesting so I definitely want to try out Tremor before the other Mortal Kombat characters. And of course the fatalities look brutal and they are so detailed. It is freaking nasty so um, I'm actually going to be planning to make a special video with that with my friends involving with MKX so uh, look forward to that and uh, hopefully that goes smoothly. So that'd be it for this video. Again, I wasn't a big fan of uh, Mortal Kombat, but I did respect it as a fighting game because of its trademark mechanics and its different take on the fighting game genre altogether. And with MKX, I really want to get this one this time because it looks cool. I love the movement and the character design looks really interesting this time around. And of course, Predator and Jason Voorhees. And I also really want to try out the story modes and it's going to be my first Mortal Kombat game I've ever owned in my entire life so pretty excited and it's coming out pretty soon now uh, since it's coming out in april 14 so again i'm really excited i'm pumped for mkx so uh you can look forward to the mkx content on my second channel so you can check that out by clicking the link in the description below and be sure to subscribe to it and you will see mkx story mode uh content and also again i will have a special mkx video on this channel involving with my friends. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, at least more than the April Fool's video that I uh, put out there. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up. And if you have any comments, thoughts, opinions, uh, go, go ahead and leave them down below. And don't forget to share and subscribe for this channel. It really helps out and I highly appreciate it. So again, I really can't wait for MKX. Look forward to those videos. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Sean out.